All right, guys, so we got a new diode put in. This time it's a rectifier diode. You can see this blue wire here where the line on the diode goes to the positive, which is what you want. So this is acting like a flyback diode. And since this has a probably a 100 volt standoff, it only conduct during flyback. It won't conduct during normal because we're only running 17 volts. OK. Now, like I said earlier, I accidentally turned this on once. Uh, earlier, briefly, by accident. It didn't kill it. Hopefully it doesn't die. So now, we're going to turn it on, see if anything explodes, and if it does keep working, then we're going to switch this thing on and off several times and see if it, uh, if it survives or if something breaks. Give you a little bit better view of everything, since we didn't know about exploding diodes earlier. Alright, here we go. All right, that's one cycle. Turn them off. So I'm gonna let the fans spin all the way down because loads on, like starting an inductive load when a motor's turned off, that's when it's the hardest to start. There we go, those are fully stopped. Okay, that's three. So what I'm fixing to do it's actually working, it hasn't died yet. That's, hey, that's three starts. That's a start, oh well. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pause the video real quick and I'm going to measure under load the output voltage because what we need is a 17 volt output and I don't know what it actually is right now. So we're gonna get that adjusted and then we'll continue our test. Okay, that's not even close to 17 volts. That's interesting. Uh, I wonder if it's set at 12 or if it's actually just that's, I'm curious now why it's so low. Let's see what our battery is. I have to do that off camera because I can't hold the camera. The battery's at 11.7, so we're basically just getting battery voltage, roughly speaking. I mean, a little more, but not much. So, let's try to. Our constant voltage, yeah, we're going to turn that up and see what happens. Okay, so I tried adjusting it real quick. Didn't seem to work. Not sure why. So, check our voltage. 12.3 something. Let's check the current. Pretty sure I'm like 11.6 amps, really not that much. Uh, we said we had like 12.3 volts. Let's uh, unhook the load. I want to see if the voltage recovers. Or, I don't know. We're going to change the setup. Something's not working right. Okay, so I turned it back to where we're at 17 volts essentially on the output, so that's good. But like we said earlier, when we ran this, we we're only getting like 12 point something. So it does have a constant current adjustment and a constant, this is the constant voltage adjustment. This is the constant current. Under voltage protection, over current protection. So maybe I need to adjust the constant current. Maybe that's too low and that's actually the problem. So we're in constant current mode instead of a uh, constant voltage mode. Uh, that's probably the issue, hopefully. So we're going to hook this back up, turn it back on. And since this is our constant current adjustment, we got our voltage right. We'll adjust that one and see if our current goes up. All right, turn it back on. See what our current shows when we start it. That's not promising. But let's try it. I did lower it going that way. Oh, this is working. One thing I don't know, I assume that constant current means not infinite voltage. Let's check our voltage. We're up at about 16 amps. Voltage is 15 and a half. This thing's getting a touch warm. I don't know if the fan hooked up. That's not really good. But I guess it's getting a lot of air, so it's a little bit of air flow. Alright, let's keep going. Ooh, 
Ooh, our battery's at 9.8 volts. Our output's at a little over 16 volts. So I believe we have a problem with the input. I'm gonna shut this off. Apparently we were at like nine volts. Apparently this battery is dead or depleted. So, okay, so that might explain why we got up to 16 volts, but we didn't get all the way up. So now what we're gonna do is go find a battery charger, get that hooked up so we can keep our battery charged and at a higher voltage. These are not designed, actually the way I tend to use this is that my battery will never drop below 12 volts. I've got a lithium, it's actually in this little ammo can, but inside of here, this is a battery I've been working on. So I've got some uh, lithium iron phosphate cells. That's gonna power the car. And then this will step the voltage up. So anyway, we'll grab a battery charger. We'll uh, stiffen up our supply voltage. We're gonna try this again. Okay, so we got a battery charger set up on 40 amps. So that'll keep our voltage coming up. Do we, uh, tell you what, I'll be right back. Let me get a tripod. Okay, so now let's check our battery with the charger hooked up, 14 volts. Okay, that's a lot better. And it's under no load, but still a lot better. Turn this on. Actually struggling to get voltage into the boost converter we were actually down at 10 volts just now so it looks like we need to let this battery charge and I'm kind of curious what the amps going into that was let's check that real quick I probably shouldn't but I can't help myself that's a uh, it's got to be a big number these are little baby wires let's see. So you guys can see what do you think I'm guessing it was probably close to 30 40 amps It says DC, why did that not work? Oh, we're on both wires, whoops. Yeah, there we go, now try. Yep, 30 amps. That number's only gonna go up as the voltage drops. You can see 10.4 volts. It's hard to film all this, I'm not really set up perfect. The best way is the voltage is going to go down, the amps will go up, and vice versa. Looks like the charger is trying to hit it hard, so we're, the voltage is climbing right now. So the amps are going down. See what our output's doing. 16.7, so we're still kind of low on our output. If we're set up for 17 volts and we're not quite getting it, I'm not sure why we're not getting it. That's a lot of sag. I wouldn't I don't hope to have that much sag. Maybe it'll get better when the input's a little better. But with only 26 amps, it must be doing something. So it's at 11.7 volts. I mean, that's close, but it's still a little off. We would normally never go below 12, I and mean, oftentimes we'd be higher than that. So, yeah, I'm not really sure what's up with that. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, I'll bring you guys back. We're going to do a little more uh, diagnosis. All right. So what I just did was I turned the voltage up under load. So now we're getting 17 volts at load. Let me show you. Okay. Output. I'm going to drop a little. Well, that may be because the input's dropping. I just had this at 17 volts. Let's see what our input shows. 
11.4. That is lower than uh, we'd like. Let's see what kind of amps we're getting. 27 amps on the input. 16 and a half on the output. So, let that battery charge a little bit. So what I'm seeing is that these zooms are not very uh, stiff. So in electronics, like on a supply, for example, stiffness is basically how rigid it can hold a voltage under a variable load. This supply is not all that stiff. I'm throwing load at it and the voltage is moving around. Um, car batteries do this. Everyone's familiar when you crank your car, how it sags, you know, when you hit the starter. Whereas like a lithium battery, they turn over quicker. They don't sag as much. So you get more voltage to the starter. So anyway, these are, these aren't super stiff, but we can probably make it work. Uh, one idea may be to add more of these so that each individual one doesn't work as hard. Because I was not counting on... I was hoping that these had enough... Uh, they, wouldn't, they wouldn't move around this much. Maybe we can figure out why, but... Anyway, I'm going to wrap that up for now. Do another video if we continue. Till next time, y'all take it easy.